cut a hole and then fit the washer through. Now the only thing is the fabric on this top section is really thick, so this is proving to be a little harder, but uh, you know, we persevere, we keep going, and we, we get the job done. We get the job done. Why do I feel like there's a middle layer of fabric that I'm missing? So we go in. down we put the washer on the anchor we get the little hammer we put that on it we get an actual hammer and we <laughs> Welcome to a wedding dress update. So let me just get the wedding dress to show you what we have and explain what I'm going to do next. Perfect. So this is what it looks like. We've attached the sleeve. So we just added a little bit of lace on the sleeve, as I mentioned, so that there's a little bit more room all the way around. And it looks super cute, actually, to have this little lace detailing. Unfortunately, as you can see, the first time I did it, I sewed on the, um, the part wrong so you can kind of see the outside hem that's a little ugly but this sleeve I did right and it looks a lot cuter but I also did not want to seam rip and redo everything and it's also going to be like in my arm so I figured it wouldn't be that noticeable actually sewing here broke my needle <laughs> and I had to put in a new needle because it just absolutely broke it so we started hand stitching it on those sections because I guess it's just way too thick on these parts. What else have I done? Honestly, I'm not the best sewer, so there's that. But I sewed the one side of this. There's, I might need to hand sew that a little bit. But so that is all the way down on both sides. Can see so we've pinned to do the other side now which I'm gonna do that later today and what I'm actually no. something else we've done is we're going to keep it a corset back with a blue ribbon so we moved the little latch from the top to here because this is about how high the zipper goes when it's on my body so we're going to latch it and hopefully it'll help the zipper stay and then I've added uh, little markings so that I can put in the eyelets so ooh, I recently got um, I think it's called an anchor and a hammer set for the eyelets and I'm going to try and do that today and what I also need to do is the tops of the inside satin, some of it is kind of breaking off. So I'm gonna glue it and glue across so that this is super, super secure. So that is the next step I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna bring you and, and show you. So the part that I need to fix is just right here and then on the other side. So as you can see, the second layer is peeking out from under there, so I don't want to accidentally glue the two layers together. So I've just gotten my York University uh, clipboard, and I'm going to tuck it underneath the skirt to form a protective barrier between the two layers. So that is there. So now, so now what I'm going to do is here we can see where the glue has come off. 
So I'm using my fabric glue that I showed earlier and I'm just going to go along the out, mm, kind of like insidey bit. So I'm gonna go up. Oh, come on glue. All right, so since it's giving me issues, I'm taking it and I am putting the glue all along where I need it. Now this is obviously not as um, quick or good as, you know, actually using it from the spout, but that's what we have today. Hey guys, I'm taking over Bia's camera. Uh, she's teaching, um, so I'm doing some of the hand stitching on the dress because uh, we're so close to being finished. Um, so I'm just gonna prop you guys up and let you guys watch me work, I guess. Again, not a tutorial, uh, but it is looking really good and I'm really excited. Okay. so good but then we tried it on with the ribbon in the back and some of the grommets like the outs like the inside part of it pulled into the fabric so now we need to try and I think we said we were going to try fabric gluing it yeah either like maybe either trying fabric gluing the fabric together or like or like the metal gluing the it fabric. to the grommet yeah. yeah and then we just have to like do some final touches like hand stitching uh, a few seams that either didn't take properly or whatever it may be. Um, and then that's it. Oh, and then we just have to cut all the excess fabric. Yeah, but it's basically done. It's pretty much done. It's looking real good. I think it's very like Ever After, we're saying from... I was gonna, Ever After from Ever After is what I was going to say. It's a Thursday. <laughs> it's a Thursday. Uh... But yeah, we went upstairs and showed my upstairs neighbor and he thought it looked really, really nice, uh, which is great. So I feel, you know, we really feel it. It's feeling very Disney princessy. We're really down for that vibe. Yeah. But great. I'll try to remember filming some of the fixing stuff, but I feel like it's not that interesting. I don't know. That's why I'm not very good at it. So this isn't like a tutorial because I'm like, if you look at these stitches like they're not straight I really like I cannot express how important it is for the people watching this to understand that this is not us showing you how no. to do this no this is just like At all. what I am doing but it's not like I think it's final product is looking really good but when you get kind of close to it, you're like, oh, wow, like that seam is a mess. Oh, we have, yeah. like I showed you the arm yesterday where I like totally stitched on the wrong side. You cannot tell when it's on my body, but if you were to look up close to the dress, you'd be like, oh, that it's doesn't right. look right. Yeah. So that's how you do it. But is like, just because yeah. I have a nice sewing machine doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. She's pretty. Truly. Everybody that I talked to at the sewing shop was like, I'm like, yes. I know. Uh, I'm glad the people at the sewing shop like my machine. Oh. 